Oh, this heat. On days like this, I envy you northerners your summer snows. Till tomorrow, my lord. I've been hoping to talk to you about John Arryn. Lord Arryn? Oh, his death was a great sadness to all of us. I took personal charge of his care, but I could not save him. His sickness struck him very hard and very fast. It, I saw him in my chambers just the night before he passed. Lord John often came to me for counsel. Why? I have been Grand Meister for many years. Kings and hands have come to me for advice since... What did John want the night before he died? Oh, he came inquiring after a book. A book? What book? Oh, I fear it would be of little interest to you, my lord. A, a ponderous tome. No. I'd like to read it. The, the lineages and history of the great houses of the Seven Kingdoms, with descriptions of many high lords and noble ladies and their children. Umber, first of his name, born to Lord Hotha Umber and Lady Amaryllis Umber in the 183rd year after Aegon's landing. At last hearth, blue of eye, brown of hair, and fair complected, died in his 14th year of a wound sustained in a bear hunt. As I said, my lord, a ponderous read. Did John Arryn tell you what he wanted with it? He did not, my lord. I did not presume to ask. And John's death. Such a tragedy. Did he say anything to you during his final hours? Nothing of import, my lord. Oh, there was one phrase he kept repeating. Uh, the seed is strong, I think it was. The seed is strong. Mm. What does that mean? A dying mind is a demented mind, Lord Stark. For all the weight they're given, uh, Last words are usually as significant as first words. And you're quite certain he died of a natural illness? Well, what else could it be? Poison. Disturbing thought. No, no, no. I, I don't think it likely that the hand was loved by all. What sort of man would dare? I've heard it said that poison is a woman's weapon. Yes. Women, cravens, and eunuchs. Did you know that Lord Varys is a eunuch? Everybody knows that. Yes, 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 of course. How that sort of person found himself on the King's Council, I will never know. I'd take it off of your time. No trouble at all, my lord. It's a great honor. Thank you. I'll find my own way out. <laughs> 